today tunazindua Tengeru Horticultural uh, Service Center. Tunajua what is a major problem kwenye horticulture pro, nani subsector. It's not about capacity. Capacity can be one of the of the problem. Lakini mama pale kasema kwamba akiifikisha pilipili sokoni haina kile kikonyo cha kijani maana yake ile ile pilipili imekufa. We have a big problem ya infrastructure development kwenye hii subsector. And this is my biggest appeal to all development partners. Let us invest in the infrastructure development ya agriculture. Kwa sababu, that's where is the major problem ambayo ina to face. Issues are coding, issues are sera. It is within our reach. It is something ambayo it needs political will. And this can be done easily kuliko ku develop this center. Kwa hiyo my appeal to both of you na mimi naishukuru sana UNDP. Naishukuru kwa sababu na na, tra na trade map. Na washukuru kwa sababu you put all your focus pamoja na issues of policy, governance and the likes, but you put a lot of your effort on infrastructure problem and that's where the biggest problem ya agriculture ya nchi hii. And this is my appeal to both of you. Let us put all our resources, let's work together to come up with a solution kwamba we unlock the problem ya infrastructure kwenye agriculture so that we can meet the market requirements. If we will not do that, smallholder farmers cannot break through. Hata leo untrain chochote kile. Mpe elimu ya NASA. Kama hana uwezo wa kuhifadhi, hana uwezo wa kusafirisha kufikisha sokoni, as per the requirement, that knowledge uliompa haito msaidia chochote huyo mkulima. Kwa mimi hii ni apili yangu kwenu. La pili ambalo nitaka nisemi. I always say, the future is on food. The bigger business ambayo inakuja huko duniani is on food. That's the truth. Sasa, if we want to be kwenye, ma, kwenye ramani ya dunia, ambayo tunadhani kwamba tunataka kuwa. Kila siku tumekuwa sisi tukisema na sisi viongozi wenu tumekuwa tukisema Tanzania ina potential, ina potential, ina potential. Yes, ina potential. No one is saying Tanzania haina potential. But Tanzania ina zaidi ya mazao 89. Let us identify items and crops ambazo we will put kwenye scale of preference kwamba these are our 10 top lists ambayo tunataka kuhangaika nayo and then when we finish tunaziacha hizo zinatembea tunahamia kwingine we cannot solve the problem zote kwa wakati mmoja za mazao yote kila zao lina tabia yake lina soko lake lina financing modo yake lina taratibu yake lina, hud lina huduma zake then we identify ni mazao gani ambayo tunayapa priority. Na mina taka ni waombe ni taha. In hot culture is very wide. Let us classify katika maineo mawili. Local market and the international market. And then to seme kwamba kwenye international market, where is our focus? Which crops tunataka kuput a lot of effort kwenye hayo maineo? We will get out of the problem easily na very fast na kutakuwa na impact na na, na tunacho tunachokifanya kingine ambacho nitaka niseme hapa mheshimiwa mkuu wa wilaya upo na mwakilishi wa mkuu wa mkoa nataka ni waombe arusha tulikuwa na mashamba nadhani yako kama saba nane nataka ni waombeni kwamba na nafahamu kazi mnayofanya katika mkoa ya kuyapitia yale mashamba na waombeni mje na mkakati Binafsi, I'm not a believer wa yale mashamba ambayo walikopeshwa watu wakashindwa ku, kuyaendeleza yamerudishwa serikalini and then tuende tukawaweke wanajeshi. Binafsi, I'm not. I'm not. Kwa hiyo, let's come together. Kama mkoa, mje uizara ya kilimo. Tukae pamoja tuwe na document ambayo tunaweza kwenda kuikonvince Ministry of Finance 
ili tuweze kutafuta private investors so that they can invest and revive those farms ili tuweze kuwa na na critical mass tunayoitafuta katika mazao maalum ambayo tuta identify kuna mashamba mimi nimeyaona yana infrastructure na nasikia sasa hivi kuna baadhi ya mashamba wameshaanza kukata miti wanachoma kuni we are going to kill these farms la mwisho nataka ni kuombe mkoa isije katokea siku moja na nyinyi mkoani mkaombe ile mashamba kugawa viwanja That's my yani this is a problem ambayo tunayo kwenye nchi. We don't protect the agricultural land. One day tunaamini kwamba kilimo lazima kifanyike maporini tu. But within the cities haiwezekani kufanya kilimo. Let's sit down na mimi niwaombeni mkoa Taha kuna UNDP hapa and other players. Mkae chini pamoja tuone how we can revive these farms na namna gani we can go together to convince ministry of finance because these people were given funds by the government through Tanzania Investment Bank they did not invest they did not pay back the loans government in a take over the farms but we know why we invested initially kwetu tusiondoke kwenye ile kwenye kwenye ile cause jambo jingine ambalo nitaka niseme hapa na washukuruni sana UNDP to establish these centers These are very important thing. Kuwepo kwa maabara na kwa kuwa mkurugenzi wa TPRI yuko hapa. Sisi kama serikali mwaka 2020, 2019 kikao tulichofanya Morena na ni Nashera. Moja ya kilio cha Tanzania Horticulture Association was to establish in the country Tanzania Plant Health Authority. This was one of their cry. Tumepitisha sheria tumeunda Tanzania Plant Health Authority kwa mujibu wa sheria ambapo tutazimage PHS na TPRI kuwa na Plant Health Authority in the country tumeanza process ya certification ya pests uh, maabara ya kwanza and we have invested i hope by this month of or end of this month or beginning of next month tutapata ISO certificate ya maabara ya TPRI na tuta certify maabara zingine mbili sasa nataka ni kuombe. Private sector is not our competitor. We complement each other. Mkianzisha hii na implementation ya TAFA, ingieni MOU agreement na hizi maabara ambazo zimepata Global Gap certification na hizi BRC certification ili mfanye nao kazi pamoja. Mcomplement pale ambapo nyinyi hamna wao wanacho so that we can save the public. This is the this is the bottom line. Kwamba tunaanzisha tafa not for our use. We don't have government farm. Hatuna shamba la serikali linaloenda kuuza avocado nje. Hatuna shamba la serikali linaloenda kuuza pilipili wapi? Nje. Kwa hiyo kwenye masoko kuna vitu vinatakiwa. So recognize hizi maabara. Na bahati nzuri kwenye sheria tumepitisha kwamba tafa itakuwa na jukumu la kulea maabara zilina, za sekta binafsi. Tumepitisha kwenye sheria. So I'm requesting you publicly kwamba you should start sitting with these people. You are not competing with them. Wao kuwa na maabara haina maana kwamba wana compete na wewe. Mna complement each other to save the private sector. Jambo jingine ambalo nitaka ni niseme in this meeting Madam Musis. Na nimewaona players wengine hapa Trademark na wengine wako hapa ITC na wengine. Nataka niwaombeni one thing. Let us meet even next month. Sisi na nyinyi Wizara ya Kilimo Taha can organize this. All our avocado inanunuliwa inapelekwa Kenya, si ndio? Sio dhambi. Kenya kununua avocado ya Tanzania sio dhambi. And this is business. Lakini we have one problem. Origin. When it goes to the international shelves, hii product imetoka wapi? Kwa nitaka niombe, it's a high time now we start we establish a common use facility 
somewhere in the southern highlands. Somewhere in the southern highlands. Narudia. Yaki ananyambia na north. Lakimi nasema somewhere in the southern highlands. Why? Our quick queen ni avocado to be honest. Na mass ya avocado itatoka kuanzia Iringa, Makambako, Njombe, Mbeya. Kwa hiyo we need to have a proper facility somewhere ambayo itawaruhusu traders watanunua avocado kutoka kwa wakulima watakuja kwenye ile facility na hiyo facility iwe na all international standards na certification na kila kitu and then hiyo center iweze kuwahudumia hao traders na waondoke na mazao yetu yakiwa yamekuwa packed na yana label inaonyesha kwamba this is the produce of Tanzania we need to have one area ambayo we can aggregate and as the government we will be ready to support in this tutashirikiana na nyinyi na tutasapotiana kuhakikisha hiyo center inakuwepo and it will not be managed by the government no it will be managed by the private sector kwa sababu hatuwezi kuendesha sisi ndio ukweli kwa sababu ili uiendeshe lazima DC approve aandike dokezo amletee nani RC litoke kwa RC lije wizarani katibu mkuu approve na nini mzigo wa watu unaweza kuharibika So we will establish and allow the private sector to run. Na hii modo iko duniani kote. Na wala sio jambo 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 la ajabu. Jingine ambalo nitaka niombe. Nimeona trademark wameongelea swala la kuwepo kwa border markets. Yeah? Nataka niwaombeni. Ukitoka hapa Arusha ukiwa unaenda mpaka Rombo mpaka boda, panaitwa pale Kolini. Ukianza hapa kuna, kuna soko hili linaitwa kwa sadala. Nadhani mnalifahamu. Just go there, see how many people are coming with mazao ambayo yanawekwa katika mazingira ambayo hayafai. Toka pale nenda pale rombo kwa kwa waziri wangu Mamsera. Ambapo ile soko nadhani huwa ni kwa wiki mara mara moja au market. Yes. Nenda kaangalie pale. And then nenda holili. Na to be honest, this is a corridor ambayo revenue generating is very easy to be generated kwa mazao haya ya hot culture. Kwa hiyo let's look at this potential areas kuanzia kwa sadala kwenda mamsera kwenda holili how we can establish a proper infrastructure zambazo zinaweza kusaidia na ku meet requirement ya wale wakulima wanaotoka milimani na ndizi kichwani wanaotoka milimani na maharage wanaotoka milimani na mazao mbalimbali mbali. so that hayo mazao yanaweza kuuzwa katika mazingira katika mazingira katika mazingira mazuri i'm happy to see people with money here Nimefurahi kumuona TDB. Nimefurahi kumuona Equity Bank. Na nilivyoambiwa Equity Bank wanafanya na na Taha, nimemuuliza Jacqueline swali moja. What is the interest rate they are charging? Ndio mimi interest yangu. Eti mzee interest ngapi? Thank you very much. Angalau wameanza na 10%. Angalau wameanza na nini? 10%. I think that's 10% kwa mwaka. Eh. It's, a, it's at least na naamini humo hamna administrative fees on top of that. Yaani 10% is everything. Eh? Kila kitu 10%. Mm. Hamna silent cost. Eh? Kwa hiyo yupo pale TADB. Sasa TADB kama commercial bank can go 10% I hope you can go below than 10%. Ndio kweli? Yes. Na mimi nawashukuru UNDP na TADB to unlock those projects of 8 million US dollar. It's a very good projects. Ni kweli ni project ambazo zilikuwa zimekwama, ambazo zilishindwa ku take off, lakini kwa guarantee yenu zimeweza ku take off. This is a very good news. Now, this is where we solve the real problem. Mimi I'm not a believer sana wa capacity building because this country has been going through capacity building since 1961. Paka leo. Since 
61. We lose a lot of money at development partners on capacity building. And I think it's, it's a high time the development partners to start to think na kufanya uh, shopping lists ya priorities na, na inawezekana I think tunaitaji kukaa pamoja kusema what are the major agricultural problems of this country. I think farmers, they know what they want to do. We know the critical problems, markets, infrastructure. Sidhani mama hapo, kama gharama anayotumia kwenye infrastructure, ni sawasawa na gharama aliofundishwa kufukulima. training tukiwa na hizi center ambazo ni total solution kuanzia mechanization storage facility certification na vitu vya namna hii itatusaidia sana kuweza kuondoa matatizo ya small scale farmers kwa mimi hii jambo limenigusa moyoni kabisa mlofanya taha na UNDP kwa ukweli kabisa kwa sababu this has been a cry for so long. Na if we go this approach, nadhani tutaondoka kwenye matatizo ya kilimo kwa muda mrefu. Jambo jingine ambalo nataka niseme hapa, mwaka huu serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania tutashiriki Dubai Expo mwezi February. Na na kuambia kabisa taha so organize your people. Sisi ndio tutachukua booth Sisi ndio tutafanya nini, nyinyi labda gharama mtakayoingia ni ticket tu. Na hiyo tutaifikiria. We need to go and showcase. Hatuwezi sisi kila siku kulia Kenya, Kenya, Kenya wakati sisi tumejifungia ndani. We cannot. Kwa tutashiriki Dubai Expo mwaka mwakani, February na katika Dubai Expo mwakani February na uzuri Jacqueline wewe ni board member wa Tantred si ndio ah uh, tunaiorganize hiyo kupitia Tantred wizara ya kilimo na I think we will invite you guys kwa ajili ya kuja kujadili what do we need to do ili kuwe na impact ya hilo jambo linaloweza kwenda kutokea we will reduce the number of civil servant to be there to increase the number of private sector to be there E hey, sasa unanipeleka mimi nikafanye nini? Au unampeleka njao? Eh? Wapeleke watu watakaoenda kupiga dili ya biashara. Eh? Tunazo balozi, we will reduce the number of civil servant and increase the number of private sector ambao wataenda kushiriki kwenye kwenye expo. Jambo jingine ambalo nitaka ni ni ni, ni seme hapa. I recognize contribution ya all development partners especially wale players kwenye agriculture wao wanaitwa agricultural working group wale i thank you very much tunawashukuruni sana and we, we respect you for that na nawashukuru sana ambao wamekuwa partners wa Taha USA Sida uh, na wenzako na wenzio wote na nawaombeni sana sana Taha msitazame export business through northern route kwa sababu if you look an export business through northern, northern route you will always look closer to nairobi mombasa but the bigger market the bigger producers wa dunia wa nchi hii wako upande mwingine ambao they can easily export their crop through dar eslam port so let's sit down and na mimi nawashukuru Taha mmefanya ile uh, comparative study logistics ya ya airports ports na nini na tunaisubiri sisi kama serikali tuipokee tuone what are the issues and let's start working on those areas na nataka ni kuo, ni waombeni kwamba Taha UNDP and other players let us meet on November and sit down prioritize areas and agree if the avocado farmers won't get the solution ya aggregation na packaging na nini easily wakao bado wanaendelea kupoteza matunda yao 
kama historia ilivyoandikwa Kilimanjaro walikata kahawa iko siku watu watakata parachichi kwenye nchi hii. Mm-hmm. Sure. let's find a solution to this. Kwa sababu uwezekano upo. Tukaeni what government should do what the development partners and private sector can do ili tuweze ku unlock this problem iliyoko Southern Highlands. I believe if we establish your common user center na ikawepo matokeo yake ni kwamba hata hayo maavocado tunayosema yanapelekwa Kenya hayana lebo ya kuonyesha country of origin hilo tatizo tutakuwa tumelimaliza kwa sababu akinunua mkenya tunamwambia thank you very much nunua you uta process hapa uta pack hapa and you will take it even to your bedroom there is no problem lakini umeipack na imeandikwa kwamba ni produce ya Tanzania and that will help us a lot kuweza kufanya traceability traceability ya mazao yetu na mama Samia anawasalimu sana na commitment ya serikali kwenye ku support agriculture na subsector ya hot culture among uh, wadau ambao wana free gate pass kuingia wizara ya kilimo ni moja wapo ni watu wa hot culture wana free gate pass ya kuingia wizara ya kilimo anytime kwa sababu we, we realized kwamba pamoja na kuwa tulikuwa tuna nia ya kuanzisha uh, hot culture authority lakini we can see kwamba Tanzania Hot Culture Association is doing a very good job. Kwa hiyo uh, bado tunaendelea kuliwaza. Lakini hatulioni kwamba ni la haraka sana. Uh, kwa hiyo tutaendelea kwa peni nafasi na kuendelea kushirikiana na nyinyi. Mpaka hapo itakapoonekana labda kuna umuhimu sana wa kufanya namna hiyo. Lakini otherwise Madam Country Representative extend your program to other part of the country uh, let's sit down and discuss kuanzisha common use facility uh, in the southern highlands uh, and my plea to the development partners investment ya capacity building and the investment ya infrastructure development to prioritize investment ya infrastructure development kwenye agriculture because it will give us huge return than capacity building. Kwa sababu capacity building is an ongoing process. Haiwezi kuisha. It will always be there. Lakini we can resolve infrastructure development once and for all. Na washukuruni sana sana.